Hi guys, welcome. This is a video about Compton. I'm discussing uh, something with a user on uh, GitHub. He says he has screen tearing and he found a solution. If you want to share your knowledge, you do it on the forum. Forum, it stays, you search a forum, you find it again, and next time around when you reinstall, you'll find your own tutorial, how to install this or how to install that. Not on GitHub's or YouTube or Discord, it's just an avalanche of posts, put it out there on the forum. Now, screen tearing is something very specific to your machine, your hardware, and your solution might, might not be the solution for somebody else. I just want to go to this particular tip. So back end here, we can define, it says here, I always think out of the box guys, I'm on the Ubuntu page, right? Compton is Compton, PyCam is PyCam. You go to the GitHub of PyCam and see what the latest newest um, are, well, well, switches are, right? But the backend can be either XRender, try it out, no screen tearing, fine, keep it, don't touch it anymore, right? GLX, fine. But there's another one, XR GLX Hybrid. XRender is the default one and you start reading. You also start asking questions, right? If you can't find it, then you ask the question to the developer, PyCam, uh, GitHub PyCam, I guess. Let's get, let's give it a try, GitHub PyCam, and see what we get. Now, this is not the way I'm, I'm looking for things, but it is exactly this one, I think. How I check this out is via this one, right? That's your PAMAC, and as you go and have a look, and in here is always a link. Here it is. That's your link. So it happens to be exactly, so it's correct. But uh, there are many variations of Pike, and many people fork it and then start changing things. So getting to the real source of things is important. So just a tip, screen tearing, only with PyCam, right? PyCam, not with uh, Plasma or XFCE. They have their own window manager. This is the PyCam thing, and PyCam is used in many of our tiling window managers. All right, have fun trying it out, fixing things, and please put your knowledge on the forum, right? In the forum, we pe people go to it, they search for a, a term, and they get posts, and they find solutions. And that's how I think we should proceed. Cheers.